On the streets of Manila, OG Lawrence is still a legend. Welcome to my humble house. <laughs> In the mafia, he would be the equivalent of a Don. When you were the leader of TBS, everybody must have kissed your ass. How did it feel? <laughs> Outside on the street, the kids that I met, they think of you. you get it? Like, like a saint. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? Siguro masyado lang silang kumaga sa akin, kahit na na to lang eh. Hindi naman ama yung ginawa ko. How come TBS doesn't have a gang inside prison? Dito sa Pilipinas, iba talaga yung gang sa labas at sa loob. Sa loob, iba yung gang sa loob. Meron kaming, meron kaming leader sa gang namin dito na ako. But in here, you need to be part of something to survive, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Twelve gangs rule Bilibin and have done so long before OG Lawrence was even born. No way will they give up their turf to a new kid on the block. Within each gang, there's a hierarchy. At the top of the pyramid is the gang commander. In order to maintain peace, there are 12 gang commanders who meet every week to sort out disputes. Today's meeting is crucial. On the heels of two murders, there was a near riot just a few days ago, and an emergency session has been called. Gang meetings are usually held behind closed doors. I'm granted exclusive access. Not even guards are allowed in. May very alarming situation ngayon, sir. Uh, gusto ko may share ito sa lahat ng ating mga kapobosyo. As far as I understand, there's never been an outside at this place. And these meetings are closed. It's like a huge sit-down. Eh, tapos nag-aaway-aaway doon sa gate. Mamaya may nagsaksakan. Ayaw natin ang This room reminds me of the scene from The Godfather when all the dons got together to figure out how they were going to take over Cuba. And these guys have enough of an army where they probably could. This is a serious meeting. And this guy walks in late. Either he couldn't find his underwear or he's a big shot. I mean, it's that whole celebrity ego type thing, fashionably laid. It's a power move, power show. It turns out he's the leader of one of the oldest prison gangs, the Commandos. He's serving two life sentences for kidnapping. He rules with an iron fist, and his name is J.B. Sebastian. I asked for a meeting with him and was directed to the headquarters of the charitable foundation J.B. has established to help prisoners and their families. Wow, nice. This place is nicer than some of the social clubs we had in Brooklyn and Queens. Big screen TV. I can't even believe I'm inside of a prison. I can't believe it's as hot as hell outside and the air conditioning is beautiful in here. Amazing stuff right here. Here's a tennis racket up here. If my guess is right, it looks like it went through somebody's head and maybe, maybe it's uh, a little bit indicative of uh, what could happen to you if you screw up. Maybe then again, maybe he just hits the ball real hard. Who knows, could be a great player. Hey. And you are? JB. JB. How you doing, bro? What's up? Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Same here, same here. Take a seat, take a seat. What can you say about the place? I, I, I love it. I'm impressed. How about yeah, a cup of coffee okay. first? Yeah. Sounds good. Coffee, hot chocolate, yeah. or what? Black coffee. Black coffee. I can tell right away that when JB says jump, people jump. I definitely found the boss. Let's cut this short. You're here for what? I'm here to find out how gangs operate inside and outside. How long you been in power now? Almost two years. Two years. There's an existing uh, commander at that time. And then suddenly, the whole commando community wanted the new leadership. So they conducted an election. Someone nominated me. And then another five guys nominated me at the same time. Elected, like a democratic election? The other guy just willingly steps down? I don't know he was, if he, he was forced to resign or if it is his own. Uh, choice and you know, don't care. JB claims his appointment was democratic, but there's no democracy in gang life. What democracy requires the leader's name tattooed on your skin? So it says JB Sebastian, that's your, your gang leader on your arm. JB Sebastian, commandos. Missios? JB underneath it and Sebastian. 
you know, in my country, I got the hots for a girl. You tattoo a name on your ass or something. Over here, you got the leader's name on your body. <laughs> What's that tennis racket? It's broken in half. There's a newbie drug okay. dealing okay. inside the facility. He's just a newbie in the middle of the court. Come here. Who do you think you are? Oh, it cracked. Okay. So much for his fake democracy. Like a dictator, he can execute summary justice whenever he wants. Let me show you some of my dormitories. Your name is here. Why is that? Tradition. Names of the commanders and the assistant commanders in the walls of our dormitories. Okay. This prison is unique. The authorities allow the gangs to run their own dormitories, but to prevent territorial warfare, they are careful to space the dorms well apart. Unlike prisons I serve time in, here gang structure is all out in the open. How many guys are in your gang? A thousand, I think. Okay, so technically you have a thousand assassins at your beck and call. And then it's up to me if I want me to use them as assassins. Explain this to me. So here's you at the top. The commander, the second boss, as the assistant commander. Here are the names of the advisors. Who appoints them? Basically, it's the commander. Go ahead, who else? There's a mayor, or okay. the father of the dormitory. Okay. Or the branch manager of the business. Okay. If there's, if there's something wrong with the dormitory, the mayor's in charge. Wait, who puts the mayors in, in office? And it's the vice me. mayors? Of you. Of course. How about the treasurer? Does he handle the money? Yes, the money. And the auditor? He audits the treasurer. So you have people watching people? People watching people, exactly. How does the money funnel up to the top? Like if on the street in the mafia, you pay the, your capo, your capo pays from the... From the treasurer to the mayor, from the mayor to the commander. So the money goes straight up to the top, a pyramid? Pyramid. And who watches you at the top? Are you above the people? I'm just a servant. Okay. And a king at the same time. I don't know about a servant. I've been hanging out with you. You're not a servant. <laughs> I'll buy the king part. <laughs> I'm not going to buy the servant part. Let's, let's not get crazy. JB wants me to meet one of his happy appointees. How you doing? Good, yeah? How long have you been in charge? Almost two years now. Two years? Almost. What's the last problem that you felt you had to bring to JB? Money. Money? Some, yes. What happened with money? Someone stole their fund. So when you were going to JB to talk to him about it, were, were you nervous? No. No, you knew JB trusts you? Yeah. JB's mayor might be denying it, but he can't hide his fear. Maybe I should resign, like a real man. Suddenly the walkabout is going all wrong. JB knows it don't look good. What if JB didn't trust you? That's got it. I'm seeing firsthand how JB operates. It's just like the mafia. The boss, the capos, the rank and file soldiers, and there's repercussions if you step out of line or say the wrong thing. Gang life allows no mercy. 